Watch the Emmy Award winning action news here on Channel 13. This time it was for the herd, and boy, they made us wait for it, and they certainly earned it today. A 31 28 victory over the Youngstown State Penguins, and finally, Keith, finally. They are national champions. Dave, I guess the only thing I can say is that winning a football game has never been easy at Marshall as long as I've been around. And I guess we shouldn't have expected it to be easy today. But uh, as you mentioned, just an incredible finish. And I guess if Marshall gets its first national championship, it ought to work for it. And as I've said before, it's not just for everybody here. It's for those 75 people who went down in 1970. That's exactly right. And you got to remember, first of all, we should tell you where we are. We are on 3rd Avenue and 20th Street, right across the street from the stadium, right after the victory, and a dramatic victory it was. It looked for a while as though the herd might pull the old chokeroo as they did in 87, and again last year, up 28 nothing. but Youngstown comes back with a great rally. It really looked like two different ball games, and you remember the rally last year. Marshall's up 17 to 6. They're up 28 to nothing. I'm talking to people who are saying it's over, baby. I said, I've seen too many of these where people have come back. And you're right, it was a different Youngstown team in that second half. If we can, among all this hoopla, let's take a look at some of the highlights as we have them. The herd, of course, running onto its own home field, and that was very, very important. First series for Marshall, and they were moving the ball very, very well. You will see them come out, and Michael Payton will uh, get the ball here and fire a pass. Uh, to Will Brown, they were deep in Youngstown territory, but a penalty stopped that drive, Keith. They seemed to be able to move the ball at will, Dave, against Youngstown, but until it got deep down in Youngstown territory, there was nothing that was penetrating. Youngstown with the fake punt here, really their only offensive play of the first half to speak of, but that drive ended quickly. Uh, the herd comes back and watches Michael Payton will go to Troy Brown, and we all know what Troy Brown can do. Payton scrambling here. Frankly, I thought he should have dumped it off here, Keith, but it worked out well. Well, I tell you, that's a dangerous pass, but it's a pass that a seasoned veteran like Michael Payton makes, and Troy Brown was absolutely huge today, and uh, that that is a big, big play. It sure was, and it set up what wound up being the first score of the ball game. Payton will go to a guy by the name of Mike Bartram, a big tight end. And he pulls into the end zone for the touchdown, 7-0. Tremendous call, Dave, because Bartram goes in motion, and instead of running the ball, they go to Bartram. He was wide open. Gutsy call by Jim Donner. And here we get our first look at Cinderella. You remember David Merrick suspended before the game. His brother, Willie Merrick, had never tried a point after, had never tried a field goal. Here was his first chance, and it was good, 7-0. He was good on all of his point afters, but of course he made the big, big kick later, which we must talk about. Peyton later on with the bomb to Troy Brown that just missed, Keith, and that was a big That's thing. a tough catch to make. you got to turn around the other way. Normally Troy might make that catch. Of course, the Penguins losing Darnell Clark, their starting tailback. That affected their offensive uh, performance. He was um, done for the game. Third team tailback, Tarika Jones fumbles, though, later on. This is Clark's replacement. Shannon Morrison out of Oak Hill recovers for Marshall at the YSU 29. Turnovers proving big in the first half. At this point, Dave, it looked like Nick Cochran had no poise, not like right Isaac of last year. Here's another play. Pick it up. Yeah, it set up the touchdown by Hatch. Uh, pretty questionable call as to whether or not he was in, but apparently he broke the plane. 14 0 with 3.30 left in the first half. Key play early in the second half, and this really scared some people. Capital High School's William King will go out on a play that we should see here momentarily. Watch it. Looks like Davey just really took a shot here. See where he made the tackle, but he had to bend his neck and shoulder, and there was some concern because he was carted off on a stretcher. The good news is he was carted off on a stretcher, taken to the hospital for x-rays, but he came back to see the end of the ball game. Now check out some more highlights here as Orlando Hatchett breaks loose on a 26-yard run to the Youngstown 16-yard line. That set up another herd score, and this time it was Glenn Pedro, Keith. It really looked like at this point, Dave, Marshall was in control of the ball game. Youngstown couldn't stop Marshall, and the uh, Penguins couldn't move the ball on the herd, but things would change. And then the herd defense with two consecutive sacks. Here's the second one. Byron Litton says, get down on the ground, Russ Cochran. And the herd defense was playing beautifully at that point. But Youngstown's defense comes up with a big play as well as Malkin and Everett intercepts Peyton. Peyton's first interception in 97 passes. How does the herd counter that with an interception of their own? That's George Thomas. George Thomas out of Kankakee, Illinois, and watch him. He almost takes it the distance, and you really begin to sense that the momentum is on the herd side. And the very first play after the interception, it's Hatchet again, and watch the individual effort by the Hatch man right here as he will get on into the end zone for the touchdown, and that had things looking pretty good at that point. 21 to nothing, actually 28 nothing, 
5.30 left in the third. But here comes Youngstown back. That's Herb Williams. You remember him last year in Statesboro. Made the huge catch. There's a touchdown. All of a sudden, that momentum, that monkey jumping over to Youngstown side. Travis Colquitt, perhaps succumbing to nerves, fumbled the uh, uh, snap right there and then wisely actually threw that ball forward. It wound up going as an incomplete pass. Gave Youngstown the ball on the 35, and then this was a big play. The screen pass out to Tamron Smith, who goes deep into Marshall territory. That play setting up a touchdown as Smith gets in right here and you can sense it in the stadium. Oh my gosh, they're coming back and made it 28-21. In fact, they tied the game later on. This was a big, big play. Again, Cochran to Williams and that combination worked when they needed it to. Jim Trestle never panicked. His team down 28-0. There again, the touchdown. All of a sudden, you got a huge ball game. A huge ball game and a tie ball game. So the Herd gets the ball back with 2.28 to go. Well, here we go, Smith again. This is the actual uh, tying touchdown. Smith with two touchdowns, the first one early in the fourth quarter. There's the second one that tied it at 28 all. Okay, that set the stage. 2.28 to go in the ball game. Marshall driving all the way down. This was a play that helped set up the field goal as Peyton goes to Troy Brown. Remember now, we're going to take a look at Willie Merritt. This is his first collegiate field goal attempt, Keith. Unbelievable. He was called on, and it's a pressurized as situations you can get. His brother talked to him before the kick. Dave, that's as great an ending as you'll ever see in college football. Absolutely unbelievable. The Marshall fans go wild. They were sitting on their hands a little bit through that fourth quarter. <laughs> you know, frankly, we were all worried about it. 28 nothing at that point. And finally, Willie Merrick comes in with his first ever collegiate kick. He's one for one. I got to mention a couple of things. One, it was critical, and I think a very gutsy call by Jim Donnan to suspend David Merrick. You know, a lot of coaches might not have done that, but he broke a rule, and he had to he had to make the rules apply to everybody. That's exactly right. We're going to take a little bit of a break right now and come back to the scene here on Third Avenue. As you might guess, there's a lot of celebrating going on down here. Keith and I will be back after this. This action sports special brought to you by One Valley Bank. Heiner's Bakery, Express Printing, Tudor's Biscuit World, Stone and Thomas, and Ashland Oil. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, eat it on the run. When you take a bite, you're gonna have some fun. Toast or a sandwich, watch your mama cheer. When you set it out, it's gonna disappear. Cause kids love Heiner's Bread. There's a special spirit in West Virginia, a spirit of individuality, a spirit of family, a spirit of strength. And no matter who you are or what you do, one bank knows that spirit better than anyone. For our future, for our children, we keep that spirit alive. One Valley Bank, the one bank for all of West Virginia. For every American, there's a little different way of celebrating the holidays. And for every American, there's a little something from totes. Such as these off-the-wall toasties for men in a variety of styles. All are warm and relaxing and have that famous totes grip. Totes for him. 30% off at Stone & Thomas. Time just right for Christmas. Okay. See, that's just the micro was here, and now we have it over there. Put a double oven here. You know what I like about Aristocraft? Is its flexibility. It really makes a difference in our remodeling jobs, too. What about our creative design? Their full line offers unlimited possibilities. Well, with Aristocraft, you'll have no problem saying within the budget. Well, let's face it, it's all in the magic of our creative designs. Well, okay, let's thank Aristocraft and get back to this project. Creative Kitchens Plus, Charleston Huntington, by design. For the finest in quick and commercial printing, Express Printing can do it all. 
Hi, I'm Mark Hayworth, owner of Express Printing. For 13 years, Express has provided the tri-state area with a full range of printing, including typesetting, graphic design, and color process work. Express Printing also offers a complete line of off supplies and furniture with quick delivery. So make an appointment for one of our sales staff to visit you or stop by our office. We're ready to help. And remember, you can expect the best from Express. Express Printing, downtown Huntington, and offices in Williamson. All right, we're back here on the corner of 3rd Avenue and 20th Street, and there is a little bit of a celebration going on. A lot of people clad in green are enjoying Marshall's first ever national championship, a championship earned with a 31-28 victory over those pesky penguins of Youngstown State. Take a look at that hat. Who needs it? It's my new friend, Ray Black. He's been watching Marshall games for 50 years. What does this mean to longtime Marshall fans? Hey, Dave, this is the greatest thing for the community. It's more than money, but this thing has brought a spirit into Huntington that we haven't had since uh, the flood wall was built, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how long, but it, it, it's made a new Huntington. Really, it has. Well, I think there's a flood of emotion around Huntington right now. And, uh, you know, how long do you think this is going to last? This is quite a, uh, quite a, the beginnings of quite a celebration. Oh, hey, this is... This has been going on all week, and this is going to be going on all next week, too. These people are happy. They were sad for a while, but, man, they're happy now. All right. Thanks, Mr. Mr. Black. Thank you. Appreciate you joining us. Okay, Keith is over here with some more rabbit fans. Go ahead, Keith. I know you guys can hear him. we got a few band members here, and it's just as much fun for you guys as anybody. Jennifer Rozick from South Carolina. What does a national championship mean here? Oh, I couldn't believe it. I was actually crying. I was just so happy because I watched the game last year when we lost, and I was I was crushed. It, it, it means more than just a football game here, doesn't it? Yes, it, it definitely does. Um, the community's really started getting behind Marshall, and so it's it's a big boost for the city and the state. What was the stadium like after the game? We weren't able to see it. Tell me about it. Oh my! Um, they, yeah, they pulled one of the goalposts down. They <laughs> totally rushed the field. There were people before we even kicked the extra the field goal. Uh -huh. There were people lining up on the stairs in front of the band, and we were standing on the benches so we could still see. Thank you guys very much. And, and you guys did a nice job this year, too. Thank you Thank guys you very sir. much. Uh, all right. I'll tell you what, we got to get out of here. We got an NFL game to get to. Again, Marshall winning at 41 28. They are the national champions. We will have much more for you on Action News and much more on this celebration. For now, for Keith Morehouse, I'm Dave Metzold from 3rd Avenue and 20th Street. Good afternoon, everybody. Tasty sausage, golden hash browns, 100% real cheese, and the USDA grade A egg top the thundering herd at Tudor's. One of 11 homestyle biscuit combos made with country freshness. At Tudor's Biscuit World, it's just like coming home. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, eat it on the run. When you take a bite, you're gonna have some fun. Toast or a sandwich, watch your mama cheer. When you set it out, it's gonna disappear. Cause kids love Hunter's bread. Kids love that Hunter's bread. Kids love Hunter's bread. Ooh, yeah. The Secret Santa is back by popular demand. With thousands and thousands of dollars left in his hand, you might have missed him once, so you best get on the ball. And remember, all you have to say is, Huntington Mall is my mall. There's a special spirit in West Virginia, a spirit of individuality, a spirit of family, a spirit of strength. And no matter who you are or what you do, one bank knows that spirit better than anyone. For our future, for our children, we keep that spirit alive. One Valley Bank, the one bank for all of West Virginia. When experience counts, count on Dave Parker, the best of the beat. 